time. And any time I have somebody new who comes to yoga, I tell them this, that it's really simple. Yoga asana uh, is built around six movements of the spine. There are movements of other body parts too, like hips and shoulders and various other large joints. But primarily, um, all the asana is built around six movements of the spine. So the more movements you add, the more complicated the asana becomes. So here they are, six movements of the spine, and they can be done from any position. We'll do them uh, here in the table, because it's the easiest to see. So we come to a table, and basically, we're in a neutral spine. The natural curves of the spine are in place, the valleys and the peaks. And the first movement we pretty much teach anybody who comes to yoga is extension of the spine. And that can be seen very readily here in cow pose. Extending the spine. So it's a back bend. Extension. Now the opposite of extension, and as you can see I don't have that much extension in my spine. Here's my extension and here's my neutral spine. Now the opposite of the extension is flexion. That's the cat. So that rounded position. And then we come back to neutral spine. That's two, extension and flexion. The next one is the lateral movement of and I'll kind of turn this way from table, and I call it C and dyslexic C. So here's dyslexic C, this curving, this lateral movement, side bend, back to neutral, and then C. So you have right lateral movement, That's four. The final two movements of the spine are the rotation of the twists. We can do this from table as well. And there's a couple different ways to do the twist. There's actually many ways to twist. But let's do, um, for this intent and purpose, the um, thread the needle twist. So the hips will stay neutral and the upper spine will add the rotation of the twist. So thread the needle twist to the right, take the left arm, weave it through, twist and turn, and then you add the right shoulder up, and there's your right rotation or twist. And the same thing on the other side. The left, right arm extends, twisting to the left, dropping into the thread the needle twist. So, six movements of the spine. Extension, flexion, lateral left, lateral right, Rotation, twist, left. Rotation, twist, right. That's it. There's six movements of the spine. Well, Patty and I argue that maybe there's another movement, but we haven't quite been able to figure this out. We've asked her doctor, her husband, who's a physician, as well as some chiropractors, about this kind of rib movement, that isolated, so I can do it from here, rib movement that we do sometimes in dance class. We're not sure. We think it's lateral. We don't think the thoracic spine slides right and left, but that's something to explore another time. So, extension, flexion. Here's extension. Flexion, here it is. Be careful on this one. This is where most low back injuries 
injuries occur, there's flexion. Now, of course, the hips are involved here as well, but we're just focusing on the spine. Now we've got flexion without twist. We get two movements of the spine plus extension, three movements of the spine, plus lateral, ooh, four movements of the spine. So that gets more complicated the more you move, the more you add. So we try to tell our students here at Heart Center Yoga, think about it, break it down, what are you asking your spine to do in the pose, and maybe you need to take one of those positions, one of those directions out in order to lessen the expression and perhaps, perhaps, prevent injury. So really listening. So that's why triangle pose, trikonasana, Patty and I always say, is not a pose for a first time yoga student. Why? Well, here's triangle pose. Forget about the hips right now. Even though we do have internal rotation happening here and external rotation happening here. But again, another lesson. But for example, what's happening with the spine? The pelvis is neutral, it always moves as a unit, and the spine grows out of the pelvis. And in triangle pose, it grows out, it's neutral, but then it adds a lateral movement this way, and then an extension 